for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five most explosive pass plays in Madden 22. These are all plays that can be found in regular playbooks, so if you want to put them in your custom playbook, if you play Mutt, though, I will tell you guys which playbooks you can find these plays in. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I can do a top five blitzes video just like this tomorrow. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the video. Now, this first play, I typically use out of the New Orleans Saints, but it can also be found in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, which is not a playbook I spend a lot of time in. The formation is the single back wing stack, and the play itself is the PA fork. This might be one of my favorite plays. You can see I average 40.3 yards of play. I've called this play almost 500 times. This is one of the most explosive, one of the easiest plays in the game to set up. As far as the setup for this play, it couldn't be easier. It's a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game, and you only have to make one adjustment, which is putting the B route here on a streak. If you do that, the X route will get open against any single defense in the game deep. Just make sure you have your fastest receiver there. The R RB route's really the MVP. You might think that you can block him to get extra blocking, but he's really the reason that this play works. If it's a cover two, he'll pull the safety down. If it's a cover three, he'll pull the cornerback down. And pretty much any defense that you're looking at, he will have a glitchy effect. As you can see right here, it looks like we have that cover two. You can see the safety drops. We get right over the top for a very easy one-play touchdown. So it doesn't matter what defense you're looking at. This is the setup. It could be easier. Looks like we have another cover two. This time it looks like a man coverage. And we have the exact same result as Claypool gets behind the defense. Regardless of what defense it is, this is an easy one-play touchdown. Next up, we have a play that I usually use out of the pistol formation, but it's also found in the Miami Dolphins playbook. The formation is the pistol tight slots, and the play itself is the PA post shot. This is another play that's a one-pick touchdown against every single defense in the game. All you have to do is put the Y route on a streak or a fade, and then put the A route on a wheel route. Now, wheel routes aren't typically available to tight ends. They're typically only available to players in the backfield, players like running backs and fullbacks. That's what makes this play so special, and that's what makes this play so glitchy, is the fact that you can get this route from a tight end at the line of scrimmage, and it typically does a really good job of pulling down coverage, whether it's a safety like here against cover two, or a cornerback once again like in cover three. This play is really a pro favorite. It's something that uh, the wheel route is one of the glitchy routes in the game when it comes to pulling coverages. As you can see right here, it pulls the cover three cornerback down the exact same way it pulled the cover two safety down. The only real difference is when you run this against cover four, you typically have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field, wait for the receiver to pass the safety, but you can see once you get that pass lead, you can have the exact same success and still get one play touchdowns against any single defense in the game. Next up, we have a play that can only be found in the Baltimore Ravens playbook. The formation is the gun wing slot weak, and the play itself is the Raven double post. This is another play. You can see I've called it almost 200 times. I've averaged about 24 yards of play. This play, just like every play in this video, is the exact same setup. All you have to do is motion this guy in, put the Y route on a slant, Block your running back, block your A route, just give yourself extra, uh, you know, basically pass protection. This is pretty much going to be the play. I typically like to slide my protection to the right or double team the defensive end because it's best to roll in the direction of the throw. But ultimately, the Y route is going to pull down just about any single coverage, allowing you to get this X route here over the top for a very easy one play touchdown. Now, this was a cover two. You can see the cover two safety drops. It'll be the same way with cover two man. Now we're looking at a cover three, and this play can work the exact same way with the exact same setup. So if you're not good at reading defenses, you can run this play, just like all these plays, the exact same way. But if you are good at reading defenses, you do see that you're looking at a cover three. It's actually best to put the Y route on a streak, mostly because when you have them on a slant, a lot of times they can run into one another and really mess up the play. As you can see right here, they basically just get bumped off to the point where it becomes a failed play. So you can run it like that, but you can run to issues doing that. So if you're not good at reading defenses, go ahead and run it like that. If you are good at reading defenses, though, and you know your opponent's running a cover three, it's going to be much better to just put this guy on a streak and you'll see how this X route here will have much easier road to run right up the seam and be a very easy one-play touchdown against cover three. That same secondary setup will actually have more success against cover four as well, which is what we're looking at now. So ultimately, uh, you know, this might be the better way to go as it's having more success against cover three and cover four. You will have to wait for this uh, receiver to cross over the safety, and then you'll see it's another easy one-play touchdown against pretty much every single defense in the game. Next up, I do have one play that's not found in custom playbooks or regular playbooks. This play is only found in the West Coast playbook, and the formation is the near close. Now, the play itself 
is the near close post drag. You can see I haven't called this play a ton of times. It's a play that I recently found, but I've averaged 30 yards a play every time I call it. This play doesn't really need any adjustments. I'll typically block the running back because he's not doing too much, but you pretty much have everything you need here. The B route just gets incredibly gone against cover two, whether it's zone or man. If it's his cover two man, he has an inside release, so it will have the same effect. It'll work the same way against cover three. There are some adjustments you can make to make this play better against cover three. Things like putting the A route on a streak or putting the X route on a 10 yard out route those things will have uh, you know ways of increasing the success of this play but ultimately you don't really have to make any of them as you can see right here the cover three cornerback drops down on the drag you can see we get over the top if you don't have as fast of a receiver as i have you might want to make those extra adjustments as those extra adjustments will help Against cover four, like we're looking at here once again, you will have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field because typically the cornerbacks just react differently when they're covering the short side. You can see we get another one-play touchdown. So cover two, cover three, cover four, man coverage, doesn't matter. This is a one-play touchdown against every single defense with no adjustments. And then last but not least, we have a play out of the Saints playbook. It's also found the Chargers and the Vikings. The formation is the strong slot flex, and the play itself is is the PA post shot. Now, all these plays I showed early in the year, including this one, but this one's gonna have a very different setup. I'm gonna combine a lot of the concepts that I used uh, in previous plays. I'm gonna motion this guy in just like I did uh, the play uh, out of the Ravens. I'm going to put the B route on a streak just like I did with the play out of the Steelers. And I'm going to put the RB route here on a wheel route just like I did out of the play, which I, I can't remember what playbook it was, out of the pistol playbook. I'm also going to block the tight end because I just want the extra blocking. But you're going to see how this play here with a very simple setup is a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game. You can see here against cover two, we have a very easy one-play touchdown as the safety drops down on the wheel route once again. That's going to have the same effect whether it's cover two, man, or zone. Uh, same thing here with cover three. We're going to have the exact same effect where this fullback here is going to slow down that cornerback. And we're going to have a very easy one-play touchdown to the X route right over the top once again. So you can see, very easy one-play touchdown against both of those defenses. Against cover four, though, you don't really need the wheel route. The wheel route is fine, but ultimately you don't need that. If you want additional blocking, uh, you can do that with this play against cover four. But you can see that wheel route still pulls that cornerback down uh, and takes him away from the plays. We get another one-play touchdown. A stronger arm and a faster receiver would definitely help but you can see we get another very easy one play touchdown against every single defense in the game i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more videos like this i can do a top five blitzes like this tomorrow or even a top five defenses let me know in the comment section with the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below thank you